Roman bridges, built by ancient Romans, were the first large and lasting bridges built. Roman bridges were built with stone and had the arch as the basic structure see arch bridge. Most utilized concrete as well, which the Romans were the first to use for bridges. Typology As with the vault and the dome the Romans were the first to fully realize the potential of arches for bridge construction. A list of Roman bridges compiled by the engineer Colin O'Connor features 330 Roman stone bridges for traffic, 34 Roman timber bridges and 54 Roman aqueduct bridges, a substantial part still standing and even used to carry vehicles. A more complete survey by the Italian scholar Vittorio Galeazzo found 931 Roman bridges, mostly of stone, in as many as 26 different countries including former Yugoslavia. See right table. Roman arch bridges were usually semicircular, although a few were segmental, such as Alcanatar Bridge. A segmental arch is an arch that is less than a semicircle. The advantages of the segmental arch bridge were that it allowed great amounts of flood water to pass under it, which would prevent the bridge from being swept away during floods and the bridge itself could be more lightweight. Generally, Roman bridges featured wedge-shaped primary arch stones vissoirs of the same in size and shape. The Romans built both single spans and lengthy multiple arch aqueducts, such as the Pont du Gard and Segovia Aqueduct. Their bridges featured from an early time onwards flood openings in the piers, e.g. in the Pons Fabricius in Rome 62 BC, one of the world's oldest major bridges still standing. Roman engineers were the first and until the Industrial Revolution the only ones to construct bridges with concrete, which they called opus caementicium. The outside was usually covered with brick or ashlar, as in the Alcantara Bridge. The Romans also introduced segmental arch bridges into bridge construction. The 330 meters long Limera Bridge in southwestern Turkey features 26 segmental arches with an average span to rise ratio of 5.3,1, giving the bridge an unusually flat profile unsurpassed for more than a millennium. Trajan's Bridge over the Danube featured open spandrel segmental arches made of wood standing on 40 meters high concrete piers. This was to be the longest arch bridge for a thousand years both in terms of overall and individual span length, while the longest extant Roman bridge is the 790 meters long Puente Romano at Merida. The late Roman Karamagara Bridge in Cappadocia may represent the earliest surviving bridge featuring a pointed arch. <laughs> arch shapes Early Roman arch bridges, influenced by the ancient notion of the ideal form of the circle, often describe a full circle, with the stone arch continuing underground. A typical example is the Pons Fabricius in Rome. Later, Roman masonry bridges rested mostly on semicircular arches, or, to a lesser extent, on segmental arches. For the later design, which shows an early, local concentration in northeastern Italy, but can be found scattered throughout the whole empire, the Limera Bridge, the Alcanatar Bridge and the Ponte San Lorenzo are prime examples. In addition, a number of other arch forms make rare appearances, in some cases of which later deformations cannot be ruled out. The late antique Karamagara Bridge represents an early example for the use of pointed arches. Typical characteristics Many are more than 5 meters wide Most of them slope slightly Many have rustic work The stonework has alternating stretcher and header courses, i.e. One layer of rectangular stones is laid lengthwise, and the next layer has the ends facing outwards Stones linked with dovetail joints or metal bars Indents in the stones for gripping tools to hold on to source traianus, and endeavor to identify Roman bridges built in former Hispania. Topic. Opus Pontus The costs of building and repairing bridges, known as Opus Pontus, bridge work, were the responsibility of multiple local municipalities. Their shared costs prove Roman bridges belong to the region overall, and not to any one town or two, if on a border. The Alcantara Bridge in Lusitania, for example, was built at the expense of twelve local municipalities, whose names were added on an inscription. Later, in the Roman Empire, the local lords of the land had to pay tithes to the empire for Opus Pontus. The Anglo-Saxons continued this practice with Brice G. Gawark, a literal translation of Opus Pontus. 
Topic Examples For outstanding achievements of Roman bridge building, see List of ancient architectural records. Built in 142 BC, the Pons Aemilius, later named Ponte Rato Broken Bridge, is the oldest Roman stone bridge in Rome, Italy. The largest Roman bridge was Trajan's Bridge over the Lower Danube, constructed by Apollodorus of Damascus, which remained for over a millennium the longest bridge to have been built both in terms of overall and span length. They were most of the time at least two meters above the body of water. An example of temporary military bridge construction are the two Caesars Rhine bridges. Topic. Large river bridging Roman engineers built stone arch or stone pillar bridges over all major rivers of their imperium, save two, the Euphrates which lay at the frontier to the rival Persian empires, and the Nile, the longest river in the world, which was bridged as late as 1902 by the British Old Aswan Dam. The largest rivers to be spanned by solid bridges by the Romans were the Danube and the Rhine, the two largest European rivers west of the Eurasian steppe. The lower Danube was crossed by least two, Trajan's Bridge, Constantine's Bridge and the Middle and Lower Rhine by four different bridges Roman Bridge at Mainz, Caesar's Rhine Bridges, Roman Bridge at Koblenz, Roman Bridge at Cologne. For rivers with strong currents and to allow swift army movements, pontoon bridges were also routinely employed. Going from the distinct lack of records of pre-modern solid bridges spanning larger rivers, the Roman feat appears to be unsurpassed anywhere in the world until into the 19th century. Topic Gallery Topic Footnotes Topic See also Arch Bridge Bridges in City of Rome Record holding bridges in antiquity Roman architecture Topic References Fuentes, Manuel Duran, La Constricción de Puentes Romanos en Hispania, Zunta de Galicia, Santiago de Compostela 2004, ISBN 978-84-453-3937-4 Fernández Troiano, Leonardo 2003, Bridge Engineering. A Global Perspective, London, Thomas Telford Publishing, ISBN 0-7277-3215-3 Galeazzo, Vittorio I Ponti Romani, Vol. 1, Treviso, Edizioni Canova, ISBN 88-85066-66-6 Galeazzo, Vittorio I Ponti Romani. Catalogo General, Vol. 2, Treviso, Edizioni Canova, ISBN 88-85066-66-6 1963, Piero Ponti Romani. Contributo ad un indice sistematico con studio critico bibliografico, Florence O'Connor, Colin Roman Bridges, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-39326-4 External links Traianus – Technical Investigation of Roman Public Works the Waters of Rome, Tiber River Bridges and the Development of the Ancient City of Rome Livius. Org, Pontes Longi, Roman Bog Bridges